One of the strongest stasis titan builds in game belongs to the Horfrost Z users who can create barricades one after another and shut down large areas by simply nuking them and repeat. This is why, no matter the season, event or mass extinction events that will take place in Destiny, you will never want to leave your titan bare bone without giving this amazing build a try. The exotic is simple to use as it only requires you to do one thing and that is to use your class ability and once you combine this with dustfield grenades you can have an easy to use infinite dustfield build for any content in mind. The power of this setup is not to be underestimated when compared to part of Imus light as it's this one small function that allows stasis titan to be the best endgame build for any player. We can even get a 45% kinetic damage buff, a 40% damage reduction and even more grenade time reduction by applying some of the mods we have available. With life on the way, now's the perfect time to get your perfect builds in place. To start, you're going to want to have Titanic Harvest where shattering stasis crystals will make stasis shards. These shards grant me energy to you and allies. Then you'll want Diamond Lance where defeating or shattering a target with stasis will create a stasis lance. The setup is going to be working hand in hand with a number of things to make the build very much possible in end game, and this is why it can be important you have a few of these things available. Elemental Shard mod is going to allow you to turn shards into wells, which is going to interact with Tectonic Harvest as a whole. To create these shards, you will be using the Horfrost to achieve this, so having a high resilience stat is going to be key with the build. Just these three things are going to allow you to create a repeated cycle of free energy towards abilities without even needing to move from your spot. But we can enhance this even more with fragments used. Whispers of Shards allows Shattered Stasis Crystals to boost grenade recharge rate. Whispers of Chain, while near frozen targets or crystals, you get a 40% damage reduction. Whispers of Rhyme provides you an overshield from Stasis Shards created. Whispers of Rending, where primary ammo weapons will do 43% damage against frozen targets and Whispers of Durance where slow ability effects last longer. Whisper of Rending, Shard and Chains are the three core fragments you must have within the build as these will be constantly active no matter if you have your exotic active or not. The benefits you'll get from using these will wholeheartedly make the build a lot more easier for players to use wherever they go and simplicity allows more freedom in the end. For the mods and stats section, this will be relatively easy for everyone as the stats are limited down to only needing two active stat requirements, which are resilience and discipline. And except for the seasonal mods, the rest of the mods can be gotten easily or have alternative used. As a reminder, as long as you have the same following setup shown within the subclass like I do, then the vast majority of your mods required can be skipped ahead if you desire. A prime example of this is a firepower mod times two being used which gives users a stacking 15% grenade regen upon using grenades. This here is going to make our grenade regen as a whole even more faster than its base form can provide, which makes it a tad OP when you can cover a field with dustful grenades one after another. Ideally, as resilience and discipline are being used, having a minimum of tier 7 to tier 10 is going to allow you to build to shine the best way possible as everything is going to be working as required. And this also means that if you wish, you can swap out Firepower Mod for Demolitions Perk instead, if you have a Kinetic Primary in mind you wish to use. Or even Grenade Kickstart, Distribution to Bomber Mods can all have relative effect that Firepower offers. Firepower on paper is easier though, as it has low slot cost, and since Whisper of Shards and Elemental Shards is in play, we can add on the Elemental Charge mods so that no matter where we are, we'll always be charged with light to activate Firepower. Pretty easy stuff to do. From here, anything goes, as it's a low maintenance setup that doesn't require any more extensive mods. You will of course need the Weakening Clear mod as this will be used to shatter stasis crystals and more, but except from adding on the Kinetic or Harmonic Cypher mods that you can produce orbs of power easily, Grenade Launcher Final mod for more Grenade Launcher ammo, Absolution for reducing all ability cooldowns, and the Scavenger mod for whatever heavy is being used, you're very much done with the core setup of the stats and mods section as a whole. Now lastly the weapons being used will be varied depending on what you want to use the most for your titan. I would have tried the new Lodbrox C AR with 4th time the charm and target lock as I heard quite a lot of good things about it. Surprisingly, this weapon is amazing with this build and it feels like it was designed for this very purpose. It's a 360 RPM weapon that fires slow but hits hard and although it looks like a half down 2.0, it's actually a lot better than the half down in general. 
This weapon's perks allows the weapon to become a heavy weapon when frozen targets are around, as four times it's going to partially refill our weapon upon critical hits, and then target lock is going to increase our outgoing damage by 50%. Target lock and whisper rending on primary is going to make add clearing on any weapon a lot more easier and less time consuming thanks to the new perk. Also, as it's hacky, you'll also be able to make use of the origin trait as well, which is handy for us when creating shards as less time out of action. It's overall perfect for this build, but you can also get a version with demo and wellspring on it, which means the firepower mod, for example, can be swapped out if you choose to. While the primary is great, you also want to have a waveframe that can help with clearing up frozen targets faster. Something like Forbearance with Ambitious Assassin and Chain Reaction is perfect for these builds as you can whip it out and take on ads in 1-2 to shots, and then allow the Chain Reaction perk to clean up afterwards. Having this grenade launcher is a must have for everyone as the two perks can trivialize a lot of the content when you need to clear a path forward. Plus, its origin trait will also heal you as well. So using this in GM environments with the build will refortify your survivability by 10 volts. Of course, any waveframe is fine here if you have something better, and Dead Messenger for example is a great alternative as you can easily get it and it will help with covering all three elements you may face. Hawthor Z has always been considered a staple to many of the popular stasis titan builds in game as it requires little but offers a lot to the user. It allows players to build however they like no matter the fragments or aspects used, as in the end, the exotic will do its path as required, and as long as you have a high resilience stat, there's nothing more the exotic will need for the player. This is why Hawthrust and any build using Hawthrust are considered the best in terms of player experimentation. Stasis is stupidly strong in endgame, and can make doing the hardest content available a easy breeze. As long as you are dedicated yourself to the whole first religion, of course. With this build in mind, you could easily have around 3 plus dust field grenades on the field back to back, and then get those massive benefits without even needing additional mods or perks to achieve them. I can't really say there is a downside to the build, as you have damage, survivability, and flexibility all available. However, I would say that because of its ease of use, I can see that players making more mistakes by being reckless. Easy to fix just don't be reckless at the end of the day. Overall, I would recommend this even to my nan with how powerful the build is, and having this on day one of the new raid in Lightfall is going to make your life a whole lot easier in the long run. But what do you think? So there we have it, I hope you all enjoyed the build breakdown. If you have any thoughts on the content shared then please leave a comment below, while at the same time if you enjoy the content and want more of these videos in the future, then leave a like and a sub while here. I will leave a dim link for the build below, and if you want more stuff like this then I have a playlist available covering all types of builds you desire. It was great sharing today's video with you all, I hope to see you all again soon.